today we're going to be talking about my one year postpartum update. So I am officially one year postpartum as of August 15th. That is obviously my daughter's birthday as well. And so I already made a video about her uh, first year update. If you want to check that out, I'll put the link down in the description. And so yeah, today we're going to talk about my experience being postpartum. So when I... Um, when I went into labor, I was in labor for 12 hours, had a failed induction, ended up with a C-section. So my postpartum is based off of a C-section. It can completely alter from person to person if you have a vaginal birth, stuff like that. But this is just my experience and how I've been dealing with postpartum. So with postpartum, I, I ended my pregnancy at 198 pounds and currently I weigh 159 pounds. So I've lost 40 pounds since having my daughter a year ago, which to me, that is awesome. To some people, that seems ridiculous and whatever. But yeah, so I've lost 40 pounds since having my daughter, so that is awesome for me. Um, the only thing I really experienced with after having my C-section right off the bat that I could talk about was I didn't, I didn't take any pain medication for the first 24 hours, and so I wanted to see how long I could push my body without pain medication, because I do have issues with medications, and so I wanted to push myself as long as I could. And so I went 24 hours, and after 24 hours, the first thing that I started noticing is I kind of felt like I got hit by a truck. <laughs> the simplest way I could describe it is my feeling started coming back on all my legs and stuff after eight hours and I was able to walk around and stuff. But the thing that I noticed right off the bat was feeling like I got hit by a truck. I was so sore and it just hurt to move around a lot. But like the only real thing that hurt was on the left side of my incision. I started getting an extremely bad burning pain whenever I would like get up and down. I don't know if anyone else with a C-section has dealt with or dealt with this, but I deal with it. And occasionally it comes back, but not as strong. Yeah, I don't know how to extremely it. sore and that my incision was burning on the left side. My doctor explained the incision burning to me as she probably started on the left side and worked her way over. And so in doing that, it just probably started the incision there and that's why it burns on the left side. So I don't know if that is really why or what happened, but that is just what was described to me. So I go through. Um, when I got home, it was kind of hard to get up and down off of the bed. It was a little bit difficult. My bed sat up higher, like walking up and down the stairs was fine. But to get into my bed was difficult because I have a high up bed. And so my husband actually had to go to the store and get us a step stool for me to be able to step up into our bed because I couldn't. And so he would help me up onto the step stool and then help me up onto the bed. And so that was kind of a pain, but it wasn't too bad. I personally preferred having the higher up bed than having a lower bed because trying to sit in a recliner or anything was just not happening postpartum. It was not. And they called me a super mom for how much I was able to walk around and do and stuff like that. Like, I was up walking around doing everything right after eight hours after having my daughter. And so I was just doing everything. I was just pushing through the pain because when you have a baby, you can't worry about the pain. Like, I always see C-section mom, or not C-section moms, I always see people ask C-section moms that, like, how are you moving around? How are you doing this and that? I would be lying dead in the bed. And it's like, I wanted to be, trust me, I wanted to be lying dead in the bed, but I had a little human like clinging to me that needed me up and walking around and stuff. Um, I didn't get a shower until I got home and the reason being is I wanted to shower when I was in the hospital if I had a vaginal birth, but I did it and I ended up with um, a c-section and the gap between the showers was seriously like this big, like this side railing of the bathtub if that makes sense. So there was no way I was stepping over that to get into that shower. So I waited until we came home and when we came home my husband helped me and I actually showered and stuff like that. And showering wasn't painful or anything like that. Showering now isn't painful or anything like that. I don't have any issues. It's super easy now. Like obviously I'm a year postpartum. Um, at first I would have to cough into pillows and stuff like that just to relieve the pressure and stuff. And so I was holding my stomach with a pillow, coughing into it and stuff, but I no longer have to do that type of stuff. So yeah, that is really, really helpful. No longer coughing into pillows or anything like that. Um, I did experience a lot of uh, discomfort when wearing clothes at the beginning because of the incision. And so 
I had a belly band around, which they gave me in the hospital and stuff, but that still kind of made it uncomfortable to wear clothes. And so I was wearing just my husband's boxers around op over the belly band so that I had nothing, absolutely nothing touching against my stomach really besides the belly band. And that did help out a lot. But yeah, clothes were extremely uncomfortable for me to wear, like underwear and stuff was not happening. For the first six months, I probably wore underwear that went up to my belly button. <laughs> I didn't start wearing underwear that like came down lower until later on, but now I have no issues whatsoever. I can wear whatever clothes I want. I can wear jeans against my incision if I want. Like I have no issues in that like area whatsoever. Um, sex. So sex is a interesting thing to always talk about. I always get embarrassed and shy about it. So excuse me if I blush. I already know you're gonna be calling it out in the comments, but um, yeah. I think my husband and I waited probably three or four weeks before having sex and we did use condoms. Um, I had had a c-section so obviously my uh, vagina did not hurt to like have sex. I don't, I don't know, it didn't hurt for me to have sex vaginally. The only thing that was uncomfortable was just positioning correctly for my incision to make it not so sore feeling, if that makes sense. Because having sex after the c-section kind of just... It made my back feel more sore than anything else just because of the positions. So now there's no issue. That's that's all that needs to be said about that. So there's no issues anymore. Um, I didn't have a period again until eight months postpartum. And so, I don't know, me and my husband used um, condoms for a super, super long time after my daughter was born. But honestly, they got more annoying to get because neither me or him are condom people or birth control people or anything like that. But... I, after having a c-section, was terrified of getting pregnant so soon again, and I did not want that, and so we agreed to use condoms. But they just became such an annoyance to get, and I didn't have a period until I was eight months postpartum, so, I don't know, we stopped using condoms at some point between there. And, I don't know, stupid decision, probably should have kept using them, but we didn't, and we don't. Condoms are a very uncomfortable feeling for me, uncomfortable feeling for him. That's all that needs to be said. Um... <clears throat> another thing is is how much my hair shed so I always hear people talk about like postpartum hair loss and their hair is falling out in clumps and it's just so much and honestly it wasn't like that for me I mean my hair just a couple weeks ago was way down here and I just cut off three inches of my hair so I had my hair probably up above here when I got pregnant and then it grew down quite a bit so I just got three inches cut off but um, my hair didn't, sh like, shed in clumps, it just shed more hairs per day, if that makes sense, and my hair grew a lot faster. So, for me, my hair grew faster being postpartum than it did in pregnancy, which was really weird to me, but my hair, like, super started growing after I had my daughter, and so, I don't know, I'm not complaining, I've always wanted long hair, <laughs> so yeah, but my hair would just kind of shed, there would, like, if I ran my fingers through my hair, there would only be a couple of strands or something, but I've heard women talk about, like, doing that, and then the clumps come out because of postpartum, and it's like, I didn't, I didn't experience that, I'm so sorry if you did, I would be mortified, <laughs> I would just be mortified, but, um, I do have my, like, side shave and so I already have like a quarter less of hair anyways so yeah but my hair is still really thick I've always had super thick hair and so my hair shedding and getting a little bit lighter was no big deal to me I was super happy about it but I don't have any issues it's extremely healthy now as well um after cutting off the three inches obviously but uh pregnancy definitely destroyed my hair and postpartum like fixed my hair if that makes any sense which I mean I know babies take a lot of your vitamins and stuff like that in pregnancy which that would make sense but yeah postpartum my hair didn't shed a whole bunch I, it's still really thick and full and soft so that's all I can say about that but yeah overall the last year has been pretty easy I haven't I mean I'm not gonna say it's been a piece of cake obviously being a new mom Having a c-section all that stuff has been a really interesting learning curve but I think the biggest learning curve for me is realizing how much you actually use your stomach muscles so I didn't realize how like much stomach muscle you use to just lift your leg or to bend your leg or anything like that I didn't realize those things until I had a c-section that was like restricting those things if that makes sense but 
Yeah, I didn't realize how much you use your stomach muscles for things, which is pretty much everything. Your stomach muscles is used for pretty much everything, by the way. But yeah, so that was the biggest like learning thing for me is I felt like my guts were going to fall out constantly. And like I had um, sutures and I had the dissolvable stitches and stuff like that and stereo strips. So I had four levels of sutures and then I had stereo strips over top of that. And then I had this bandage that like, stuck and sealed against me pretty much with a padding on it and even with that I was still mortified my insides were gonna fall out I don't know why but I was and so I just wore that belly band tight around my stomach for fear of life that my like everything was gonna fall out and don't worry it's not gonna fall out you can you can take that bandage off when it starts to peel up pretty much but um yeah I was just so fearful of like things falling out and stuff like that that like walking became really weird for me like my husband would point out that I was walking different because of my fear of something happening or like I'd be more cautious with trying not to hit my stomach on stuff than I even was when I was pregnant it's really weird but yeah there's just different things that like happened with that but overall, the last year postpartum has gone great for me. It has been a really interesting challenge. I've dealt with depression and stuff like that, which I've dealt with my whole life. But postpartum depression has been really different. I've dealt with my body healing, the mental horm or the mental part of postpartum, the hormones, and all in all, I would say I've handled it pretty well. Um, I have got to stay home for last year with my daughter, so maybe that's why I was blessed and didn't have to go back to work and so I haven't had that struggle and so I don't know I just think overall the last year postpartum has gone amazing for me if left with the option to do another c-section again I might personally I would want to go for a v-back and a c-section kind of be like plan b if the v-back didn't work but you know my experience with a c-section went extremely well a lot of people don't have that good of an experience and so i'm really blessed that i had awesome doctors that were working with me in a great hospital but yeah that is all i have for today's video thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching it with me i hope you guys have a great day bye